Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures. Now that I've demonstrated how to use the brass edge razor wire, I've had a couple of people write in and ask me for suggestions on what they can do with it. So today I'm going to make a freestanding razor wire frame using some L angle styrene strip, my razor wire, hobby knife, and some super glue. This is the finished piece. I've made this one two inches long, fits nicely on the uh, gaming board. To start, what I'm going to do is take some L angle bracket on my little cutting mat here, measure out one inch, and cut it, lining up the blade on the line here, using the angled side of the plastic. Press down until it snaps. I'm going to do this one more time, so I have two pieces. One of the nice things about the uh, cutting board here is that you'll have a 45 degree angle marker, so you can actually come in and snip off a corner. We're going to do that so that the stand has flat feet and will rest a little more easily on the board. At that point, easy as can be, you line it up on your one inch line here, take your pen, and using the ruler section, put a little dot at the half inch mark. This is going to help you line it up with the other piece to make sure that they sit together. Dot, dot. Then I'm going to take my two halves, set them up so that I can see where the feet sit flat. See I've got my little angled section pressed against the ground here. And now I know which sides need to be pressed against which, and you can see it'll make a nice little flat bottom X for me. At that point, it's just a matter of adding a tiny dot of glue to one of them. Take my little super glue, cyanoacrylate, put a wee tiny dot, doesn't take much. And press them together. The only other thing I'm going to need is a two inch section of the same rod. So you can see, I've got my flat bottom here. I left the other ends alone, but you can cut these off as well. The only other thing I need is a two inch section, which I've already cut. And what you're going to do is take that and glue that into the X. You can see where I've glued it in on this one. Once you've done this, I recommend actually spraying this on my sample piece. I used a bit of the Krylon Brown camo spray again. It's one of my favorites. I have dry brushed the razor wire silver so that it stands out a little bit. I use the uh, bolt gun metal from Games Workshop. After you've got this sprayed, weathered, detailed, however you're going to do it, do these pieces separately. So you've got your end and the other end with the uh, two inch section attached to it. Do all of this separately, get this all finished because what you're going to do after this is finished, I've used four coils or four rows of the uh, razor wire here. Let's get it on your section, pull it out a little bit so it's got a little bounce. You'll then glue these two ends together, but that way you have, you're have still able to get the razor wire in without having to wrap it around one row at a time. You can just slide it on like this. Once it's glued together, find one end of it, just pull it out, uncoil it a bit. You'll be able to get as much play out of this as you want. For a little added uh, bounce to it, you can actually take it, wrap it around the ends here like I've done on this one. so that it's actually held up on the ends there. Keeps it nice and loose for you. And that's it. It's that easy. Gives you a quick portable stand that you can use on the gaming table. Another option is to make this portable so that you can use it on vehicles. In this case, I have some wooden stakes and a coil of razor wire that I'm going to be adding to a tank. But you could just as easily either take your X's and your rod coil the razor wire and add them to a tank, or even keep these two pieces unglued. Uh, so you just snap these two apart for the moment. So you could add this as a kit on the back of a tank. Use a little bit of wire to strap them down. Instant portable field razor wire. And that's it. It's as easy as that. If you have any questions, drop an email to mrjustin at secretweaponminiatures.com, and I'll see you again.